The latest unemployment numbers are out with some encouraging signs, but millions are still without work, of course. According to the Labor Department, more than 1.5 million Americans filed for unemployment benefits last week. It brings the total to about 44 million people over the past three months. Claims have been improving as businesses restart across the country. This is a budget battle is heating up at the state capitol. There you see our CBS 13 political analyst Gary Dietrich. Always happy to have you, Gary. If I told you six months ago lawmakers would be dealing with a huge budget shortfall, you would have called me crazier than I actually am. So how's this going to play out, Gary? Just at least a little crazier than you actually are, Tony, because <laughs> the bottom line is we're now you know, facing a $54 billion deficit. Monday is the constitutional deadline for the legislature to pass a budget, and they are light years apart still from the governor, who has to sign it constitutionally by July 1. And you know, the legislature just basically said, we're not going to make any significant cuts, not the $19 billion that, that Newsom said is going to start July 1 under his plan if the feds don't come up with money. They say, we're going to wait and see. We're going to wait and see. And if September 1 is the deadline that the legislature's put forth, guys, they say, if we don't get the fed money by then, then we'll start talking about the big cuts. So we could have a showdown at the proverbial budget OK corral here in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, we will follow it. Yeah, Gary, let's look ahead now to November. It sounds like voters might actually have a chance to restore affirmative action here in California. Is that right? That's exactly right. The, the Assembly this week, Adrian, passed a constitutional amendment that if the Senate does likewise with a two-thirds vote by June 25th, we'll end up on our November ballot, and that will absolutely repeal People will remember Prop 209 when Pete Wilson was a governor that did away with all affirmative action in public education and contracting and employment. And this measure, if, it, if it's put on the ballot, which it looks like it's going to be, voters by a simple majority will be able to completely rescind those affirmative action prohibitions. Speaking of voting, let's talk more about LeBron James' new effort to make voting more inclusive, stepping up to the plate in that regard. He is, and it's a new effort by high-profile people. LeBron is one of the leaders of it black athletes and entertainers who said they want to do a couple things. One is to increase uh, voter participation by black voters and also work against what they perceive to be suppression efforts for black voters around the country. So it's very high profile, looks like it's going to be very well funded, and I would expect to see LeBron's face all over this thing in the next couple months. Gary, always good to see you. Thanks for your insight. We'll talk to you soon.